Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm mostly in the moment and I'm glad you're here with me. We're looking at the Twin Flame energies for the week of May 3rd through the 9th. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I do weekly Twin Flame energy readings. And if you're coming back, hello, welcome. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, donating, and sharing. It means so much to me. All right, if you like your personal reading for me, you can find my information below. And with that, let's get started. What's going on with the Twin Flame Energies? What's going on with the Twin Flame Energies in the beginning of May? Twin Flame Energies in the beginning of May. After the crazy up and down of April. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's a little bit of a... Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, wait, hold on a second from the universe. It's like it's, it's, it's not divine timing yet. Just can you just hold on a little bit longer? Um, yeah, I know you cleared out every little bit of karma um, and you might not have a lot of big things to work on anymore. But if you can just wait a second while we get these last details together, because um, and it, even if you had things manifest, it's like uh, it's not perfect yet or it's not exactly uh, where you want it to be yet? It's um, it's the divine is working on it. <laughs> the divine is working on it. So it's like, hold on a second. It's almost divine timing, but not just yet. You know, um, with the crazy April energies, don't you want to take a second to not talk to people or see anything or anyone yet? Because when it comes, it's gonna come correctly. When your twin flame enters your life, it's going to be in the right way. When they're confident, where they make the tough decisions where they can see how this twin flame journey is going to go in the long in the long term. Um, and so we just wanted to make sure it's everything is set, that everything is ready to go, and that um, you're not going to get someone where you guys break up again. When this person comes into your life, they're going to come ready for a high vibrational relationship. They're done with the karmic situations, they're done with that BS, and they're going to come ready knowing what they want in a relationship, knowing how to make it work with you, how to talk it out with you, how to compromise with you, how to plan with you, how to make goals with you, and how to think long-term with you, and even short-term, how what to do in the moment, how to sweep you off your feet, how to make you want to listen to them, how to be kind to you, how to, be, how to listen to you, and how to um, open their heart to you. <laughs> So the divine is like, that's worth waiting for just a second longer, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's kind of funny because in the past um, month, since like the end of March and all of April, it's like you've been waiting in line. You're like, oh, I think I'm going to wait in line for a pretzel or cotton candy. And then you find out that you were waiting in line for a roller coaster ride and you're up and you're sitting in the front of the roller coaster and it's like, a really up and down roller coaster. It's like, wow, I did not sign up for this. I thought I was here, I might as well take the ride. And what are you gonna do when you're on the roller coaster? Like, you can't get off of it, you just kinda have to take it. <laughs> you just kinda have to go for the ride. So it's kinda like the karmic situations in April were kind of really up and down, but what what could you do? You had to you knew you had to uh deal with it because what was around the corner is gonna be so so worth it. Okay, the energies for the Twin Flames in the beginning of May. Energies for Twin Flames. Wow, see? It's going to come not just with the right desire, passion, with the creative juices flowing of how to make, how to make the other person like you, how to flirt with them, how to do nice things with them, how to compliment them, but they're going to come ready to make some more coin, put down roots, you know, make a family, you know, start a business. Um, they got the idea funded. They got the uh, down payment on the house ready to go. They got the um, the next year of vacations planned for you guys. Like they are ready to come to match your energy in a way you've never seen them before. They have completely changed and it was just proof what I love about this is I see a lot of green. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you can notice that I got my 
um, emerald ring back on. And the number that I've been getting a lot for the past week is 639. And 639 is, if you know the Sol Fijio numbers, is um, connected to healing. The 639 hertz is connected to healing the heart chakra. And um, the emerald, I don't know where I heard this before, but I heard the emerald green is like the greenest green you can get. And green is also connected to the heart chakra. Um, and this, I've been guided to put this ring back on and it's on the ring finger, which is connected to the heart line. That's where the ring finger comes from. And that's why it's connected to um, putting a ring there for a loved one because it is connected to the heart line. So I see a lot of green here. It's May. You see a lot of greenery and in trees and nature and stuff and it helps you open up your heart it helps you um, open your heart up to love you know in a, in a higher and better way which is why love is um, why which is why May is so conducive to uh, love partnerships because of you know you letting yourself open your heart up again after you've cleared and done a lot of karmic work in the past you know a month or so. Okay, how does the masculine feel about the feminine? How does the masculine feel about the feminine this first first week of May? Wow, the Knight of Wands. And it came out uh, backside up, which is like you don't even see it coming, feminines. You don't even see it coming. They might be right around the corner. They might be right about to text you. They might be right about to bump into you. They are maybe right about to visit where around where you live. They might be right about to write a letter out to you, um, make a confession, um, make a apology, make a, a beautiful date, um, plan a beautiful time out. Um, um, send you a beautiful gift, um, right, tell you how they truly feel about you. This is right around the corner. And Divine Feminines, you're not going to even see this coming. Um, I was about to give um, like a special out, like a reading special out, but then I was guided by my um, spirit team to like wait, hold on, because I feel like a lot of people are going to be coming into union soon. So uh, my spirit team was just like, oh, just wait and hold on for a bit because the divine feminists aren't supposed to know exactly what's what's going to be going on with the divine masculines right about now because a lot of you are coming into union and it's going to be unexpected and it's supposed to be in a way where you don't see it coming, you know? Um, how the masculine feels about the feminine currently. The first week of May. The Knight of Wands, the King of Wands. It's like they're not gonna back down. Like they understand um, that they have. That when they see you, they're not gonna like hide into a corner or get intimidated or get like freaked out. They're gonna step up this time from the Knight to the King of Wands. They're gonna step up this time. This time is gonna encourage them to see you. When they see you, they're gonna gain even more strength, even more courage. The Two of Swords, uh, they've already decided, this came out reverse, but um, they've already made a decision. They already know what path they want to go um, walk down, um, and they're now on their way. They made a decision. The decision was, yes, I want to go towards them. Um, and I feel like um, there was a decision made in regards to the Divine Feminine um, other than bumping into them. So I feel like they made another decision. I don't know if it was about, you know, something related to money or career or living situation or um, something to do with moving away from a karmic situation. So I feel like not only did the masculine make a decision in terms of coming to you, Divine Feminines, but they also made a decision in terms of something else, something um, in terms of stability. So something with the home, money, career, um, family, moving, um, you know, commitment, something um, along, with, along with stability. So they made two decisions um, in regards to your Divine Feminine. How the Divine Feminine is feeling about their masculines. How the Divine Feminines ooh, are feeling about their masculines. Oh my goodness, the Tower card. And it like... <laughs> And it like just jumped out at, at me. Did I say like it's, like it was meant to be just a surprise, just out of nowhere? And I feel like this tower 
Divine Feminist. I just got a card that got on this. I'm going to pick it up real quick. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> it's going to be a good one. All right. This time around, it's going to be a good surprise. This tower is going to be good. Because I feel like um, in the past week, um, Divine Feminist and Divine Masculines, you've been kind of hit in the face with a lot of karmic situation. It's kind of like my roller coaster analogy. It's like, like the universe kind of took you for a ride and you're just like, I just have to stick with it. What I'm going to do, jump off the roller coaster. I, I know it's going to be for my highest and best good. I know it's going to lead me to um, my twin flame in a very positive way. So I might as well clear this karma while I have the opportunity. And this could have came in forms of like bumping into your ex. So it's like, hey, what are we doing today, universe? Oh, here's your ex where you have um, issues, unresolved issues that you ne you didn't know you had that you have to work through. It's like, all right, universe, all right, universe, I feel you. I, I feel like I should, you know, get some sort of closure, you know, talk with my ass and figure things out. Or even just, even if you don't want to talk with your ex, like deal with it, like by yourself, like meditating or take some time out to think about it. You're like, all right, I, I see you, universe. Like I worked through my karmic situation. All right, I'll do it. It's like, oh, by the way, um, you're going to get another karmic coming through to you tomorrow. Uh, and you're going to have one hour to deal with their karmic situation too. It's like, all right, all right, universe. Like, I guess, I guess this is like a... This is like meant to be. Um, if my twin flame is around the corner, I, this is probably some karmic situation I should deal with. And it was like karmic situations in in love relationships. So it could be it could be ex partners, ex lovers, or it could be you know your children, your parents, your siblings, your best friend, or your ex best friend. You know, it's just like. It's like, all right, universe, just, you know, addictions, you know, with substances, with spending too much money, with your work situation. It's just like, all right, this is a comic FS anyway, uh, universe, just, just bring it all. Because I know if I clear it all, then this is what's around the corner, you know. So I feel like this time around when the tower comes, it's going to be a good one to find feminists. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a, a love message, you know. So... This is this is why you have to deal with all that stuff in um, April. Um, so it's all worth it. <laughs> it's gonna be all worth it. All right. Um, how, what the divine masculine is thinking about your divine feminine? The divine masculine are thinking about in terms of the divine feminine. Divine masculine is thinking about the divine feminine. Wow. Okay. So I don't know if you know this, but like spirit is like, we don't want to give too much away right now. <laughs> like stop, stop trying to get a lot of this information out because we don't want to give you all the details away. So this is, this is going to be a little bit more general because it's going to apply to a lot of people and a lot of people are coming into union. So spirit is kind of like hush hush about it. All right. So uh, the Divine Masculine is like, they're tired of waiting, you know, they, they, they've, they tried it out with other people, with other, um, like, you know, not just other uh, love partners, but, you know, with their family members, with their friends, with their community, with their co-workers, with their neighbors. You know, they they tried to connect with them in a high vibrational way. And for some of them, it's stuck. But for most of them, they're looking for the divine feminist because they want to have conversation about high vibe kind of stuff, high vibe kind of life. And they know to start it off, um, they're going to go back to who brought those thoughts and emotions up for them. Their divine feminine. The divine feminine is the one who kind of initiated this kind of awakening and kind of like, hey, I can have a really good relationship that isn't so much drama, where we just love each other, where we bring each other up, where we love and support each other for real, not just pretend, um, and really try to make it work without pretending to make it work you know I, I want a real love relationship and I want it unlike the relationships I've seen around me I want it in a different and high vibrational kind of way and the last person who ever made me feel that way I thought I could I could have that kind of connection with with is my divine feminine <laughs> a lot of shuffling today temperance yeah because they, they're ready they're so balanced out divine masses have been doing the inner work as well and they're so ready. They're connected to their 
higher self or a higher power, however you see it. And they, um, they're ready. They're like, I want to follow my heart. I want to follow my gut instinct. And I want to follow what this like thing in the back of my head that's always been like, you know, check up on the divine feminine, like see how the divine feminine is doing. Try to connect with the divine feminine. Try to talk to them. Try to talk to them about something important to you, about uh, emotions or healing or how you would like to see the world, you know? Um, like, reach out to them. Figure out. Figure it out. <laughs> like, reach reach that high vibe state. So they're like, they're, they're balanced out. And this is... This is really indicating that the divine masculine is ready, that they're balanced, that they've done their inner work as well, that they've dealt with their karmic situations. That in my last reading, they've been licking their wounds because after that much drama, after that roller coaster ride, it's like, <laughs> give me, give me a second, give me a week or two to not talk to anybody or to see anything. I just need to, <laughs> I need to catch my breath. So the divine masculines are ready and they know it, and they know it. Divine feminists and how they're thinking about their divine masculines. Divine feminists and how they're thinking about the divine masculines. Yeah, I feel like the divine feminists are, t are being asked to stay put because the divine masculines are coming to you or you're going to be just go along with your daily activities, what you normally have planned because I feel like... Um, like, if you already have a trip planned, stick with it. If you're already planning to go to a party or an event, stick with it. If you're already planning to stay in for the weekend, stick with it. Because your divine masses are going to... It's already, like, planned. It's already in divine timing. You know how um, I was saying how the divine... The universe is kind of like, just give us a second. It's divine timing. We got everything linked up in this web. And you guys are supposed to make cross paths at this time, at this place. So just keep doing... What you're, what you're gonna do, what you have planned already, just go with the flow. You know, if you feel like going somewhere, do it. If you feel like staying home, do it. Um, just, just stick with it because divine timing is at work here, divine feminists, and the divine masses are coming to you. That's, that's what I'm getting. And I feel like you've also went down and deep with your emotions. So it's like, don't put yourself through a lot of stress this week about. What do I have to clear? What do I have to do? Just go with the flow. If there's something you want to clear, clear it. But I think for the for the majority of the viewers here, it's like just kind of take it easy. Take it easy for the next, you know, week or so. While divine timing comes into play. This is why um I got like, oh, don't do your reading special yet. It's because like a lot of things are gonna change up soon in the next week or two. So it's kind of like wait until all the changes are made. Um, even if you get an idea like, oh, maybe I should do this. And then two seconds later, it's like, oh, I feel like that's not a good idea. I should do that instead. It's just like, it's just wait on it. If you're not hundred percent sure, just wait on it for a second because something is coming your way. Uh, something small that's going to grow or it's going to start off with small, um, manifestations into a big manifestation. So just, um, Keep doing you, Divine Feminines. Uh, divine timing is at play here. Okay, your Divine Masculine's action towards you. Divine Masculine's physical action towards you, Divine Feminines. <laughs> there we go. Slow and steady. Wow. This came up in the last reading too. The Divine Masculine's are in their Divine Masculine power. And aren't we proud of them, Divine Feminines? We are proud of you, Divine Masculines, for stepping into your power. We're proud of you, Divine Feminines, for stepping into your masculine power and balancing that out. Um, but we are seeing the Divine Masculines um, take the lead, um, put down some foundations, um, make choices, make difficult decisions in big areas in their in their lives in order to come to you um, the way they were meant to come to you, Divine Feminists. They're coming to you in in the way that they're supposed to. They're in their power. They're confident. They made tough decisions already. Now they now they it's like if the courage and the confidence has built up in them. They're like, all right, you know, I already cut things loose. I already done difficult things. Like. What else do I have to do but to come to my divine feminine? There's like nothing left to lose. There's just everything 
only everything to gain so i might as well keep going with this and they built up their courage and strength to do this yes i knew it okay so i knew the page of cuffs is going to come out um i had a feeling for the divine masculines because they're ready like here we go the page of cups, the knight of cups, the knight of wands, the king of wands. Is, I knew the page of cups is going to come up. Um, they're, they're confident. They build up the, their um, security, you know, their confidence. They, they see how much better they're doing without karmic situations or following their own heart and path. They, they know um, that they feel secure enough to come to you, Divine Feminists. They feel good enough. And it doesn't matter if they don't love their job or if they don't like they're still hanging out with some friends that they don't really vibe with or their family isn't completely on board. They don't have all the money saved that they want to. It doesn't matter because it's all in your head, baby. It's all what you think. You are what you say you are. You are what you think you are so they just know they're just they're just spiritually emotionally mentally physically strong confident and they know they can they can accomplish whatever they set out to accomplish so they're ready to take that leap they feel good enough they're like whatever i need to do to figure it out in my twin flame relationship i'll be able to do it whatever i need to do to figure out in my own spiritual path i'll be able to figure out that's how confident they are that's how ready they are and the page of cups i knew i'm like they're ready to go after their dreams they're ready to with a fish in the cup like the pisces energy like that neptunian energy of like dreams coming true make taking a leap of faith just taking a chance and texting you saying I love you or saying oh this is what I think about you or if I bump into them ever again I'm not gonna miss that opportunity they are ready and I love that because I knew that the fish was going to come up and this this bird right here has um, a fish in its mouth so when, as soon as I saw it I'm like the page of cups is going to come in the page of cups is coming they are ready to catch that abundance for you they are ready to go out and bring that abundance to you divine feminist because they feel like they got enough um, and they could bring home the bread that they, if they can't yet, they know they will be able to, or they can bring in more of that bread home, you know, not to bring these stereotypes, but they felt like they needed to, they needed to feel confident that they can be independent and take care of someone else before entering a relationship. And it's not about you to buy family, it's something they had to do in order to be confident in themselves. And they feel confident that they can do that now. You know, they're bringing home the bread, they are, they can, or they can bring home more, you know. Um, that's something that they just had to, they had to just do for themselves and um, they're there. They are there. Okay, a divine feminines um, action space towards the divine masculines. Divine feminines action space towards the divine masculines. Wow, the sun card. <laughs> Yep, it's so worth it. We're getting this beautiful positivity, this energy of, yes, things are coming through, which is like being granted. This beautiful, positive, joyous, happy energy is coming through um, with all these energies, this, these manifestations, these uh, flowers blooming, you know, the birds singing, the... Um, just the energy in the air is so much more positive. You're going to be smiling a lot more, Divine Feminines. You're going to be happy with all the things that you worked hard for because like the, the, the rewards are coming through. But I don't even like to say the words rewards. It's like, it's like, this is what you were working towards, Divine Feminines. This is what you had your goals set on. And it's like, coming through, you know, you're feeling happy again, you're feeling joyous again. And that energy of um, being in your power and being um, shining your light out to the world, you're probably helping a lot of other people out, you know, just by listening to them, just by um, talking to them, just by helping them out with an errand or, you know, you know, even just smiling at them. You're shining your light out, Divine Feminist, because you feel this beautiful, warm energy filled with a lot of positive light and love coming your way. Um, and so you're going to respond well to your divine masculines because you're going to be able to, you're going to be in that high vibe vibration yourself. Um, divine feminists, you're in that high vibe yourself. So that's why 
you guys are atta being attracted to each other right now. That's why twin flames are being attracted to each other right now because you're feeling good. You're you're at a good place and you're ready. This is no BS. This is like finally for a long time. You might have been like, you know how you like fake it till you make it kind of thing. You might have been like trying to keep your vi positive, like your vibes positive. If probably trying to help others to feel a little bit better about yourself you know keep the gratitude journal going but it's kind of like you're you're kind of just like roughing it you're just kind of getting through it um putting a smile on your face as best as you can um until until this moment which is finally you can just feel like yes yes and you feel true pure joy um finally <laughs> finally it's like um all that inner work, all that spiritual work, all that um, physical work is now paying off. Okay, um, the twin flames. Twin flames, the energy between the twin flames. Yeah, I feel like uh, the twin flames are taking on new responsibilities in terms of this connection. So this is, I feel like, um, figuring out how you guys work together, who wants to take care of what in the, in the relationship, um, in the connection, um, who is going to take the responsibility to um, reach out for us this time or, um, you know, put up the money for, for this vacation or this date first or, you know, who is going to... Um, you know, introduce who to their family first or their friends or, you know, whatever it is. It's like you're, you're figuring things out. You're, you're, um, you're bringing in new responsibilities uh, and things to work on when you guys come together. And it's kind of not a, I'm not getting it. It's like a, a difficult thing or a negative thing. It's, it's like you guys are excited to do it because it's like, I'm ready. Um, and it's kind of like you want to hit the, hit the road running, like running. Cause it's just like, um, I'm, I'm in that, you guys are both in that like space where you're just like, I'm ready to get some work done. I'm ready to put in some time and effort. It's like, it's like you're overcompensating for all the stuff you've done in the past relationships or in the past month. Um, kind of realizing like, wow, I can't believe I was with that ex lover or ex partner, or I had to deal with these kind of friends or family situations. Like, I'm going to put in extra effort because I know this is the person I want to build a, the strongest love bond with. Um, so you guys are kind of like um, seeing all the mistakes that were made or healing all the things that went wrong in your karmic situations in the past makes you want to just like put in so much right off the bat um, when you meet your twin flame. <laughs> The moon reverse. So I feel like, okay, so this for me is like uh, the new moon energy that's that's coming um, up this, this weekend. Um, yeah, I feel like something something big. You guys are both taking on responsibility, new responsibility. So it might be like, yeah, the next time I'm in a love relationship, you bet your butt I'm going to put in all my time and energy and effort into it because I know what I want in a love relationship now. Um with that, I would say take it easy, take it step by step. You guys know what you're doing though. Um, but also around the time of the new moon, I feel like there's something um, Taurus, something stability, um, love, money, um, consistency, um, something along those lines that are coming that's coming to your into your life that you're gonna have to pay attention to, that you want to pay attention to. Um, this might be a big change for a lot of you, or it might be something uh, change in something um, in your daily routine. That's going to be a big deal in the long term. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be something that you work on for the rest of this year. And that you'll be successful in. Um, if you put if you put the thought, focus, and energy and effort into uh, making this change happen for, for good. Um, in a positive way. Okay, wow. The Divine Masculines, I feel like I... <laughs> Um, there might be a lot of sexual energy right off the bat, or there might be, um, a tendency to like get into old habits with you, but they're trying really, really strong and really, really hard to not, not, 
not have those karmic um, situations come back into your connection, um, to not do things the same way that it was in the past, which is why you guys kind of separated or what they had to deal with in their other karmic situation. So they're trying really, really hard, even though it's so tempting to um, do things that they used to do, you know, if they um, were really, you know, sex heavy um, and they just kind of like slept around or, you know, they had a tendency to not be um, committed or if they had like addiction issues and they didn't want to bring it back to the, the connection or um, yeah, whatever it was that was that was something they need to work on and something that they had to go into separation with you about that. It's really tempting. It's like they want that. It's really hard with you because it's like. You bring it out that in them, they, they want that, that that primal, um, raw, carnal energy is coming out where they want to like, they, they enjoy those things, you know, and it's something that they enjoy with you. If anyone, if they want to do it with anyone, they want to do it with you, but they're like trying to hold back really badly to like make sure that this is done the right way, even though it's, it's more tempting with you because like, if I'm going to do this with anybody, I'd rather do it with them. Um... Yeah, because uh, they, they, they're trying really hard. They want to start something new with you, a new project, a new relationship, um, a new um, joint venture. Um, but they know um, they have to, they're going to try to be around your energy a lot um, to make sure that this starts, this new, whatever new project or situation is. And they want, they're going to keep themselves around you and not go too hard because they want to make sure that this devil energy doesn't creep back in they want to know for good that they can be around you without being having past stuff come up again or interfere again okay the divine feminines the divine feminines going on time for the twin flame journey okay so the Divine Feminines are being patient. I know that no, um, word is annoying, but I feel like it's because you, Divine Feminines, and this could be the feminine energy in both the Twin Flames. Um, again, the energies are so like, this can be you or the other person or you the other person on either side because you are balancing out that energy of Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine within you. So it could be you or the other person. But um, also the Divine Feminine is, um, I feel like getting um, an upgrade in terms of their psychic abilities or um, intuitive abilities. And so it's like, while this comes online, um, you know, you might be getting stronger dreams. Um, you might be able to talk to your guides or your higher self or your higher power, whatever you believe in, better and stronger. Um, for divine masses, <laughs> it's your, um, you can call your higher self, your subconscious mind. So you might be just be able to flow with the energy, uh, understand what your subconscious mind um, is pointing out to you that you're, you know, easier than before. So it's just kind of like... Um, you might be getting um, uh, more abilities at this time. So it's like, be patient while, this is why a lot of things are changing around this new moon time. Be patient while all these new changes settle in to your life um, because there's more than just the relationship going on here. When you guys come together, it's going to be like magic. So just be patient while um, all these energies and all these like um, spiritual downloads and uh, psychic abilities and spiritual abilities come in because you'll be amazed. Like you might, if you don't even, if you don't really believe me, just like wait. Like you'll you'll see. Like <laughs> like uh, it's, this world is kind of magical and it's, it's beautiful. So it's it's worth um, letting the changes settle in. Wow, the Queen of Wands. Here we go. Because your king of wands, your divine masculine is coming in and they're coming in with more than just love and passion, creativity, and um, uh, the drive to start a new relationship. They're coming in for their match, for their partner, for their twin flame, you know, because you're going to match them with their desire, their creativity, their passion, their... Um, the drive to start this relationship. You're going to match them in all those ways, Divine Feminines. 
they're going to match your divine masculine in all the same ways you you come towards the divine feminines so so let let i'm getting let things happen organically because you're going to be so surprised in the way things unfold and you will never you would never have been able to plan it decide it um or think it would ever happen in this way. So let it just unfold the way it's supposed to. Because even if you get upset one day that like it didn't go the way it's supposed to, watch what happens the ne next hour. Watch what happens the next day. Because you won't believe it. It's, 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 that, it's that magical and that crazy. And that's how perfectly pinpointed the divine timing is working. Okay. What's coming up <laughs> in the middle of May? What's coming up for, uh, for 20 planets in the middle of May? Yeah, I feel like it's going to be easy going towards the middle of May. I feel like you guys are both taking time off from work or maybe taking time off from working so hard and taking time to enjoy the energies and enjoy your life. Strength heart in reverse. So I feel like there's a lot of trust going on, like trusting that everything is happening the way it's supposed to. Um and kind of being hands off about it. It's like you don't want to mess it up too much by messing with um, the divine plan, the divine timing, and um, your manifestations. You're just letting it happen. You're letting it come through. Um, and I'm getting like shock and awe, shock and awe with like the things, how things happen, and the signs and synchronicities, and how things unfold, and and in, in the coming weeks, divine masculines. Um, are being awakened, are being enlightened. They're they're in this like energy of like, I wanna know more, I'm interested to learn more, I'm more curious, I wanna figure things out, I wanna solve more problems, I wanna learn about this new vibe life, you know. Um, I'm into it and I'm I'm gonna figure more see I keep shuffling towards the end of the deck. It's like the divine is like I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm trying not to give you as many details because you're not supposed to know. There's a lot of shock, awe, and surprises coming, I'm getting. Yeah, and it hit the, the new moon card. Um, positive changes. It's like the, you know how I was saying that ch there's change in the air? It's here. It's here, and it's already making its moves. It's already in your divine masculine's plans, in your divine feminine um, plans. It's already here. It's already making its moves. Just let it happen. Just let it, let it do its magic. Let it work its magic. That's what I'm getting. Let, let, just be, enjoy it. Do the things that you want to do. Be healthy. Be happy. Let the divine lead the way. Let the divine lead your way. Because when these decisions come around, when these um, options to um, uh, make decisions, make plans with your divine masculine come around, it's going to be fun. They want you to enjoy it. It's supposed to be enjoyed. It's supposed to be flirty. It's supposed to be fun, loving, uh, um, joyous, kind of in a way that you haven't felt in a while, you know, just being kind of being like, um, enjoying fun, childlike joy, um, being flirty, being flirty in a new way, in a very sexual um you guys are wanting to like just spend every moment with each other like just uh kissing and hugging and enjoying talking to each other it's like remember remember what it was like to just be good with someone <laughs> just be good enjoy and have fun with them <laughs> you know because this moment of rest is doesn't mean that there isn't so many things happening think the connection is moving so fast and positive that it's, and it's going to seem like you're suspended in time, that you just want to spend as much time in this moment as you can with your twin flame, with the connection, um, with just thoughts of them, with just um, how they made you smile, what they said about you that made you feel good about yourself. There we go again, because it's, 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 it's I feel like you're taking a second to appreciate and understand it all because um, you want, you're going to want that moment to last forever. And you just like, even behind the scenes, even the connections you're making when you're not with each other in dream states and just thought states, emotional states are so powerful and so positive. It's just like, you just want to let that moment fill up as much of your time as it can, you know? 
All right, so I'm just seeing beautiful, lovely surprises coming up. Um, just amazing things happening left and right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you stay with me mostly in the moment. And I wish you so, so, so much love and light.